and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I'm coming to you with your weekly oracle card guidance, but I'm using tarot cards instead this week. And this is an Egyptian tarot deck. Um, and um, yes, and I have three options today. I have stones for you. So we have the first option here um, and the second and the third. So go ahead, make your selection and I'm going to begin the reading. So for those of you chosen the first option here, we asking what is your weekly oracle card guidance? And so we have the card Seven of Cups, okay? And the the stone here is um, Peridot with Rhinite in it. And I think that what's, what's talking, what it's talking about here is feeling emotional about something that you could have had or feeling emotional about something that you wished you could be doing right now. Like you wishing you could have done something or been somewhere or had a particular experience or met a few people uh, or longing to be with somebody or some a sense that um, that you there's a sense of dissatisfaction with your current environment but from an emotional point of view not from a practical point of view so it doesn't have to do with perhaps the accommodation that you have is not uh, really suitable or that um, your your work is not really suitable or something like this it's more like there's a kind of um, a longing to have something or to be somewhere um, a longing to to be with someone you know like in the way the the Portuguese uh, or the Brazilian Portuguese would say saudage, or uh, the German w would say fan way, it's a kind of um, a feeling of longing, and it it could be for anything to be a certain a certain place, to be with certain people, to do something. It's a sense of 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 deep sadness because of not being able to do that. But the sadness is quite deep, and it's not on the surface level, so you won't necessarily. Um, necessarily feel that but that's where this feeling is coming from this this longing and i think that um it it's it's the sense that this is the healer stone this is a stone that uh, one uses to protect oneself when when one's healing and um i think that here it's important to actually uh work with yourself and heal that and i would suggest that you work with uh, do a, some kind of meditation where you are working with directly with this emotion that whatever emotion that is primary for you at this time that might be blocking your path to happiness and joy during this time um, that this is that you do a meditation that helps you work with that and heal that and release that alternatively you could you know do some some kind of uh, healing on yourself like some kind of um, quantum healing or reiki healing wh whatever kind of healing you do uh craniosacral sh shiatsu all these things well uh, sh um qigong um tight uh qigong i think as well as acupuncture might all all help to release or work through this energy and you can you know obviously choose something that fits you and that uh, suits you well but you can also just um come to the root of this acknowledge that it's there and then just let go of it for the moment and i think that's what's required at this moment so as i was recording this um this card here flew flew away because i'm sitting outside and recording this and it's a little bit windy here but the weather is very nice where i am right now and the, the, my the indoors it's a bit stuffy and that's why i've decided to um to stay outside and and, and shoot this reading so here's this card of the star that's also um, flown out. And I think it's very much to do with the, with her hope, you know, the longing. It's, it really re reinforces that longing or this hope. And it's, there's a sense here that, that maybe what you're wishing for, what you're longing for is not going to be possible. And, and that's, there's a hopelessness about it. There's a sense of... Um, of it being out of your reach in some le on some level and it could only just be in the stars or it could only just be a dream 
that you can have. And it's coming uh, to terms with with that hopelessness that you have and working with that hopelessness to kind of overcome the feeling that you have. And one of the things I want to say about this in, in terms of this week is that if you are feeling these things, it's actually, uh, it might be not possible to, to shift that feeling because sometimes, you know, it's energetic. It could be astrological. Um, you know, it, it's working on you in a certain way and it's you'll it'll leave you when you are ready for it when it's ready to leave you and it won't leave you before that so if you're not able to shift that then just go with it and just recognize that this is how i'm feeling now one of the other things i see here that is that it's a really great time to dream about what it is that you have been disappointed about in the future in the past and what you have been dissatisfied with and think about it, brainstorm it with your friends or work on how you can go about uh, resolving that. And what it's going to do, it's, it's going to build a ladder between where you are right now and where you want to be. And it's going to, uh, you know, if you could put down the steps of what it would take to be able to get to what whatever space you need to be in you know uh it might be different for different people for some people it's just bliss and joy for others it's it's ambitious it's um having certain material um um gains or perhaps having certain relationship goals or having whatever it is that you choose and that you need right now this week is a great time to also sit down and build that ladder between yourself where you are right now and where it is that you need to be and then put down the steps you know when I say build a lander what I mean is think about what it would take to be able to get to that point and write down all the steps in between that because that's also going to help quite a lot and that's going to be part of that healing process all right so I'm going to leave it there I hope that has been a helpful reading and um, yes and I wish you all a fabulous time ahead may you continue to enjoy your festive season i hope you have been enjoying it until now and i wish you all the best and many many blessings and healing blessings and lots and lots of love for 2022 and for those of you who've chosen this option here we're asking what is your weekly oracle card guidance but of course i'm using tarot cards this week and so uh, it's going to be a little bit different I'm going to go ahead and just shuffle the cards a little bit more and see if there's anything else that comes up. And so the cards we have in this week's guidance is the Five of Cups and it's the Queen of Swords. And I think here the meaning is about, I think it's a time in this week to kind of look at what was lost, look at what was Um, what has not been working in your favor, what has not been working for you and where it is that you've had a bit of sadness, you might have experienced loss in your life, you might not have been able to be in control of what's happened, you might have had a sense that things were a little bit unfair and that you've had to pick up the pieces um, and and this is where you are right now. Uh, But it seems to be that as you go ahead in this week, it's time for you to look at what has been and what uh, what what has disappointed you and to be, be able to make some very distinct and clear decisions about that as you go along. So there's a sense here that um, that there has been disappointment, that there has been something that was lost or something that didn't work out your way or it could have been better. It could have been different it could have been more joyous you had expected it to be a better time but it was not and so it's about just getting on with it being but it's not just um it's not only about getting on with it it's about being able to recognize and feel that that um that loss being able to understand what it means for you emotionally and and energetically spiritually and all of that and to be able to give it that recognition that it requires and from then on Um, being able to make a decision that's really quite um, distinct, quite um, quite clear, quite, um, I want to say, consequent in that it really takes care of your well-being and really ensures that you get what it is that you need as you go ahead. And I think that this energy, as we come up to the end of the the year uh, and we're about to begin a new year, 
I think it's a really, of course you can watch this at any time and it will apply, but this is a really a poignant message. It's a very, you know, very suitable message as well for those of you. And I feel that the Queen of Swords is very, very much about how you're going to proceed in the new year and what kind of energy you're going to have and what are you going to tolerate and what aren't you going to tolerate and what is it that you're going to make possible and how is it that you're going to make it possible. It's all about um, setting those goals and being having very very firm boundaries as you go along in 2022 and making sure or in the following year on the following week let's say and making sure that things are going to be different not making the same mistakes in 2021 not holding on to any emotional hurt that you might be carrying it's a time in this week to be able to resolve that emotional hurt and to be able to let go and just release and when you do so just cutting away anything that doesn't suit you anymore and doesn't fit in your life anymore and just moving ahead with quite a lot of um, determination and clarity and with nothing nothing that could come in the way and stop you and so I think that it's very much about a week like that I feel also that as you do that it's it's not only about you know nursing wounds or, or working with yourself on an emotional level. It's also about being able to um, form that bridge between the emotional and what is um, energetic or spiritual, and what is the, um, the the result of it. It feels to me like very often the swords cards are very much about the mind, the mentality, the the um, the thought. But here it feels to me like these two cards and this this here forms a bridge and it's all about being able to um being able to reconcile the emotional with the spiritual and being uh, wise having wisdom that comes with it and so i feel here that that is a big part of this week as well and i'm going to leave it there i hope that that has been a helpful message and i just want to wish you a fabulous 2022 um, may you have um all that you desire may you be healthy and well and free and um, yes all the best to you and may you have a good week as you go along many blessings to you all so for those of you who've chosen this option here we're asking what is your weekly guidance and i'm using tarot cards this week and it's going to be quite uh, different i guess in some ways but I think it might also be quite nice uh, for you to have a different kind of reading as we come to the end of this year and we round things up and we prepare for the rest the, for the next year. And of course, if you are visiting this reading at another point, it's absolutely fine. It will apply. Um, but I am doing this reading for my regular viewers um, on the week that's leading up to the new year of 2022. So for those of you who've chosen the, this option here, we have the Ace of Wands. And I think what better way to actually finish up a year and to be able to be begin a new year. I think that, you know, you're really charging forth and you're really working uh, towards something that you desire. And without realizing it, you are burning behind, be burning up what you're leaving behind, but not in a way that's malicious or with ill intent or with insensitivity. It's more so that you're clarity and your your vision is so pure that you're able to to really burn through anything that's a distraction right now and it's really interesting because you have a very cooling vibration uh card here something that that's really almost quite different in a way from this energy and i think that um, it's really important to to guide yourself as you go ahead you might have great plans for the for the year ahead you might have um quite a lot of, of uh, um, motivation and energy and ambition behind yourself right now but I think here as you go along in this week what it's important to do is to allow yourself to be guided and to be not grounded really necessarily but but making choices with a great deal of wisdom and a good dose of uh, realism as you go ahead so not just to get lost in in the clouds in a way where you kind of um, 
kind of get caught up in in whatever it is that you're thinking about and allow that to to lead you allow the excitement to kind of cloud what's really going on but rather to do, continue with what you're doing but with a good dose of, of reality and uh for those of you who aren't feeling that for you it's it's really a time for you to perhaps leave behind everything uh else that might be distracting you and then just sit down and work on your motivation work on what it is that's giving you that that spurred energy that spurred on energy to be able to go ahead and to go go forth and create an ideal situation for yourself in the in the upcoming weeks year and year i think that um it's also a time where there's a boundless energy and and really an amazing time to explore and to to perhaps even tr- travel for you and if you're not able to travel physically or geographically it's also a time to travel inward it could be a time when you are really able to tap into a particular energy in yourself where you feel that you know the stars have aligned and and things are really working your way and i think to be able to um capitalize on that energy in this week and to be able to uh put forth an idea or a plan or some place where you'd like to channel that energy because there's quite a lot of energy that's going to come to you in this week and you're going to need to channel it in some way and the advice here is to channel it with a big dose of realism All right so i think that's quite a short reading but i think there's not much more that one has to say about this rather than that it's necessary to um to just have an idea have a vision uh get use this energy in a way that allows you to really uh, make it work for you ultimately so that this energy doesn't fizzle out as you come into the new year as you come out of this space that it doesn't fizzle out and that you can allow this to work for you even you know 12 months from now or 11 months from now All right. So I'm going to leave it there and I hope that that's helped you. I hope that you have a fabulous week ahead and I wish you all the best and many blessings and excellent health for the year 2022 so blessings abound from kismet rising go ahead and have a fabulous new year and i'm with you next year all right much love to you all